Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Thank you for joining me again today on another episode of I Care, wanting you to know I care for you, but guess what? God cares for you more than anything and anybody. He cares for you. He loves you so much that he told you to cast all your care upon him, all those things that concern you, all those things trouble you, all those things that are on your mind that need to get off your mind. He says to cast all those things on him. Cast your care on him because he cares for you. And he's going to do something about the things that you give him. Hallelujah. Let go. You cast them away from you. And he receives those things. And he's going to take care of you in that situation or even in that circumstance, as I said. But before I go on, I want to welcome you and, and, and really invite you to come to our service ministry, our ministry services, rather, here at Praise Scripture Center World Outreach in Channel View, Texas, on Houston's east side. And that's 1100 Dale Dale, Channel View, Texas. Hallelujah. We open and we have our service begin at 9.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings and on Tuesday nights. Right now, we are having our Tuesday meetings at 7 p.m. sharp. So I invite you to come. I know your life is going to be challenged. I know your life is going to be changed. I know you're going to increase. Hallelujah. And be maximized in your living towards the living God. Hallelujah to the Lamb because he is faithful. Oh, and I've been talking to you about giving. I've been talking to you about your financial situation. And one of the things that I want to, again, remind you is that we are tithers. Okay? We do what? We tithe. The tithe is the tenth of all of my increase. The tenth of everything I receive in, it belongs to God. Not 20, not 40, not 50, but the tenth, it belongs to God. And then he tells us very clearly Hallelujah, to bring tithes, offerings, and so forth. Different kinds of offerings that the scripture teaches us on. And so I want to encourage you today to become a giver. Now, I want to share with you this passage of scripture because I think a lot of times we miss things uh, spiritually with our eyes closed. And listen to this in, the, in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 6. The people were actually in this chapter, they were gathering money, they were gathering funds together in order to help continue with the work of their ministry. And it says in that sixth verse, but this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also how? Sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also how? Bountifully. Hallelujah. Now, I want to point out something to you. This is not a tithe. What? It's not talking about tithing. This is talking about your offerings. He, watch this, which soweth sparingly shall reap how? Sparingly. He which so bountifully shall reap how? Bountifully. That's impossible for that to be a tithe. What do you mean? Because you can't sow sparingly and it be a tithe. You cannot sow bountifully and be a tithe. A tithe is a fixed amount of 10%. So what God here is doing is, is talking to us in the scriptures about, first of all, you lay that tithe down. You, you offer that tithe to God. But then also, you bring offerings. And the offerings that you bring, the blessings of it, the return of it, will depend upon how you do it. You can either give sparingly and receive sparingly, which is little in our turn. You can give little and get little. Or you can give much and get much. It's all dependent, it all depends upon us as to how we are going to do that. Because the Word of God says this. Now watch this. This is, this is a very important part of this. Every man, according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give. Not grudgingly, nor of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Now listen to that again. For every man, every man, according to what? As he purposeth in his heart, so let him give. As he purposed where? In his heart, as he purposed. That's not the tithe. It doesn't matter what you purpose when it comes to the tithe. The tithe is 10%. So your other giving is on the outside of that 10%. Hallelujah. The way you reap so sparingly is on the outside of the tithe. Where you, where you reap bountifully is on the outside of the tithe. It does not, watch this, does not mean your tithe. It's offerings above your tithes. See, what we have to recognize is that we're in covenant with God for the tenth. 
And then in our offerings, we determine, look, watch this, we determine the excesses amount that's going to come into our lives. How are we going to be fulfilled? Hallelujah. Because if we just tithe and don't give the offerings, then we miss out on the abundance. Hallelujah. Because a tithe is a covenant connector. The tithe keeps us, watch this, doing the covenant of God and staying in covenant with God by obeying the tithe. Hallelujah. But then when we get into that offering, that offering is what opens the windows of heaven. That offering is what pours out blessings for us that you won't have room enough to receive. Hallelujah to the Lamb. So those are some things to think about when it comes to giving. Because again, how is your heart when you give it? It's accepted according to you, as, according, from you according to as you purpose in your heart to do it. Hallelujah. I, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, okay. I got you. Yes, it is accepted according to your heart what you give. That's why it's important right here in this scripture. It says, for as he purposed where in his heart, so let him give. That's why nobody should ever have to pull your strings and pull on you and pull on you to give. When you have a heart right with God and you have a relationship with God and your relationship with God is, 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 is right before God, then what happens? Hallelujah. God is looking at your heart. In your giving. You don't give to show off. No. You don't give so you can brag about it. But when you give, the blessings of God is going to flow in your life, and that is going to be your show out because of the blessings that God pours into your life. I care.